Hello everyone, welcome to a very late q and I took these questions on Instagram a very long time ago and then I kind of forgot I was going on holiday the very next week and I didn't have time to film it and it's been forever now, sorry. <laughs> I'm a very cranky bean today. <laughs> you know when you just have days where everything is annoying and not going right and you just want to like ah, that's today for me. <laughs> Also, I don't know where my glasses are and I'm too blind to find them now that they're off my face. So I'm just gonna try <laughs> and read the questions. Amy J. Wolfenden said, I'm moving in with my partner at the end of the month. First house and my first time living with someone. Can you give me tips to make sure we don't have too many arguments about things such as housework, savings, etc." I guess the obvious thing to point out is preparation, like have a chat about these things before it just comes up in life and then Maybe you get frustrated with each other, plan ahead as much as you can, have little arrangements that you're both happy with. Like me and Alex have our own little arrangements around the washing up and the cooking and you know, all different kind of housework and stuff like that. Rectangle said bees. Yes, yes bees. Amy J Rimmer said, if you could replay a fun or deep or big moment in your life, what would you choose? I would probably replay when I proposed to Alex. I'd like to have seen it like from an outside perspective. That's why I wanted to film it as well. In case you haven't seen it, cause it was quite a while ago now, I'll link you to a video down below where we do like a little story time and I explain the whole proposal and how it went and my plan and everything. I feel like this is one of those usernames you're not supposed to be able to say out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Jane says, what do you want to achieve by the end of the year? I want to have revamped Little Doe and to be back in the swing of things. It feels like so long since I've properly been in action in regards to Little Doe. Uh, in case any of you don't know, I have like a little online store. It started out as just jewellery and plugs and things. I've really, really slowed it down because I've been working on revamping it and changing it up because I have tons of different things I would like to do with it other than just jewellery. And initially I think I told you guys that I hoped it would be back up and running by like April or something, which was stupid. I should really just not tell people dates until I'm sure. I am the queen of biting off more than I can chew, but I'll get there. <laughs> Hopefully by the end of the year. Free as a bird X said, would you ever get your neck or chest tattooed or back piece maybe? Um, I definitely, definitely want a back piece. I am not sure about my chest. Maybe, I mean, I never thought I'd get my hand done and I did. So perhaps someday, but it's not something right now that I think I want. My neck, on the other hand, I do really want a neck tattoo. I love neck tattoos so much. I think like in regards to me looking at other people, neck and hand tattoos, I find the sexiest. I don't know why, I don't know if it's just me, but I really want a neck tattoo. I'd like something kind of floral kind of coming out around here, but that's the kind of thing I'll get once I have a lot more tattoos. Stay Cool Millie says, something you wish you knew when you were 20. I wish I could just tell myself, you're never gonna be 20 again. Like, enjoy it, slow down, do 20 year old things. The older I get, the more I'm appreciating every age, <laughs> if, if that makes sense. Seashell Shelby says, do you actually listen to ASMR? I can't tell when you've mentioned it in your videos if you're just joking around. <laughs> if so, who do you listen to? I don't actually listen to ASMR, but I'm not, well, I'm slightly taking the piss when I mention it in videos sometimes. Thank you very much for joining me today for this ASMR adventure. If this video made you feel uncomfortable with all the whispering and the jingling jangling noises, don't worry. I'm uncomfortable too, but that's the price you pay for being fucking relaxed, all right? <laughs> but not in a mean way. I think it's awesome if it relaxes you. I love that there's like an ASMR community on YouTube. I think it's really cool. I do listen to like relaxation guided meditation kind of things sometimes. I really like the Honest Guys uh, videos and I am mildly taking the piss when I mention it sometimes, but not in a bad way, in a loving way. Jem Faye says, when will you do Sims videos? I will do Sims videos as soon as I bloody can. Trust me, <laughs> I really, really want to. I'm hoping people won't mind that I play The Sims 2, but I have no intention of moving on from The Sims 2. I know newer ones might technically be better in loads of ways, but I love certain little glitches and certain little weird things and imperfections about The Sims 2. <laughs> They've just got burgled and her most recent memories. 
Marcel the burglar. You know, pretty bad, horrible memory. Next one, met Marcel. Nice to meet you, stranger. <laughs> <laughs> and I have so much custom content and I know that game so well. I know so many cheats just off the top of my head. For example, I know like I just understand that game. I get that game. That game is in my blood. So I don't have any intention of moving on from it, but I, I hope people will still find it enjoyable. The Sims 2 is just my thing. I just I just love it. I used to obsessively play The Sims 1 when it came out and then I moved on to The Sims 2 and I played it for a really, really long time, like to the point that it was kind of a problem when I was a kid, like I would just spend all day on it. And I actually ended up, sorry, I'm going off on a tangent here, but little story time. I ended up taking a huge break from playing The Sims for a long time because my computer was really old and crappy and it would constantly like corrupt and crash and I would lose all my progress and everything that I'd done. And I'd been playing this for so long. I had like generations and generations of families and at least twice I lost everything. And as a kid, that was absolutely heartbreaking. I actually sold all my Sims and I refused to play it anymore because I couldn't deal with the heartbreak. But then a few years back, they had The Sims 2 on some kind of sale or something. Um, and I downloaded it onto my MacBook and the rest is history. I've been playing it non-stop ever since. Well, not technically non-stop, but I wish. Kenny Hempson asks, are you into swinging? Yeah, why? Gemma Kate Rogers says, can you please share what it's like to be self-employed? Do you think it helps or hinders your mental health? I think it's a bit of both really. When I worked in a clothing store once, for example, I found it very scary, like dealing with the public and speaking to people, dealing with money, having a boss that was like right there that I could see that was watching me. I don't have that now, but I have potentially hundreds of people watching me, expecting good things from me, hoping for good things from me. And I don't wanna let anyone down and it's it's a lot of pressure. I, like I said earlier, always bite off more than I can chew. I always, always bloody have. But at the same time, I really appreciate that I'm an industrious, creative person and I'm always trying to do maybe more than I can. Something that I don't like about being self-employed is that I find it very difficult to switch off. I feel like I'm always thinking about it because I could always be working, there's always more I could be doing every minute of the day. My life kind of is my work, my work is my life. The Sims is actually one of the things that helps me switch off and I will make time and prioritise time some evenings to just play The Sims for a couple of hours, which maybe sounds silly, but it's really good for me. I think self-employment is done best when you organise your life <laughs> you're good at time management and stuff like that and I'm not. Quite a few people have recommended bullet journals to me and it is something I think I'm gonna try at some point because I desperately need more like organization in my life, more like structure, but I have to do it for myself and I find that quite difficult. But then I worry how am I gonna find time to do the journal itself? Like that's a whole nother, <laughs> that's a whole nother thing. I need to organize time to do that. But it is something I think I'm gonna do at some point. Imogen117 says, one thing that you try to live by, like a quote, idea, or experience that changed you and how you live by. One of my favorite quotes that I find really helpful to remember, I have written on a chalkboard in my workroom. What you do today can improve all your tomorrows. I think that's useful when it comes to self-employment and motivation. I think that's useful when it comes to mental health and anxiety and finding help and being brave and like overcoming fears and things. I just think that's a really, really good quote and I love it. Izzy Rickard said, if you could be BFFs with a Harry Potter character, who would you choose? Definitely Mr. Weasley. <laughs> He's my favorite. He's my favorite of everyone. I love him. He should have been in the films more, God damn it. Can we have a spin-off film? He could be like the Little Mermaid going out into the muggle world. It would be so cute, I love him. That's all the questions I'm gonna answer for now. Thank you so much everyone that left a question. I'm sorry, I couldn't answer all of them as usual, but there's a lot of questions. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you again soon. Bye bye.